Hey, what's going on guys? Coach Matt and YouGoProBaseball.com. I'm here with a couple of drills for you. Seven uh, I'm planning on showing you that you can do pretty much anywhere. I'm here at my local field right now, but you can do these, some of these at your house. I know we're in a crazy time right now. That's why I wanted to make this video for you uh, so you can put in the work while we are in our time of isolation right now so you know don't let there be any excuses coaches if you're watching this you can send this to your players parents you know give this to your players players I challenge you to use this workout today and go through all the drills that I'm going to show you because these drills are for everyone if you're a pitcher catcher fielder uh, whatever you're doing they're pretty much general drills and great to develop hand-eye coordination and just work on some stuff while we're stuck inside so the first one that I want to lead with and I, maybe I shouldn't leave with this because I'm gonna lose some people here but is juggling juggling is uh, a great way to develop hand-eye coordination if you could juggle three baseballs uh, very well especially at the younger ages uh, you're gonna have pretty good hand-eye coordination what I like to do with my younger guys is to start with their juggling is start with one hand and two balls so actually two hands and two balls and just work like this at first then you move to one hand two balls and then once you get that in you can mix in that third ball and obviously it's going to take a little time i actually used to do this with my younger players in their lessons and it would take probably i'd say three to six weeks depending on the player um, if they didn't know how to juggle at all going to three baseballs so that was uh really cool and again it works on your hand eye coordination is great even though this has nothing to do with baseball it's great to have the baseballs in your hands you get a feel for the laces and you're getting that hand-eye coordination so that's the first one the second one that you could do is actually a uh, footwork drill you can set up some balls if you have a couple balls set them up on the ground right and I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way here real quick and all you're gonna do is work on your footwork around these balls and you can set up the balls however you like you can set them up further apart or in zigzag and then you're just going to come around like you're fielding them and uh, work on your footwork around the baseball bare handed really staying low trying to get around that ball and have good quick feet while you're doing it working on your transfer you can see there i was grabbing at the ball you're not going to field it like this you could if you had a glove on and pull it into your glove but again we got to work with what we got in this time the next drill we can do is a hitting drill. So if you got a bat and some balls, you can do this hitting drill. And even if you're inside, if you have a net, you can do this. If you're outside, hit into the fence, hit into the net, whatever it is. But you're going to do fungo swing. So you're going to act like your bat is a fungo. This is not a fungo. This is a regular bat. You're just going to take the ball and throw it up. Now you can throw it up with your front hand, grab and swing. Or some guys like to grab the bottom here and throw it with their back hand. Me, I like to throw it with the front hand. I'm just going to throw it up, step through. Work on taking good swings right up the middle. Try to hit this one up right in between the second and third squares. Money. The next baseball drill we could do is actually throwing to the crossbar. So we can set some balls up all around the field if we're at a field or in our garage or wherever we're at and then if we got a net or a fence something like this we can throw balls at certain positions or spots right we're trying to hit our spot so we can throw at different crossbars i'm just going nice and easy right now but i'll work for that low middle crossbar at first and then once i hit it i can go up higher and then i can go to the right i'm just working on trying to hit different spots when we're throwing again if you're on a field you could set balls up all over the field you could even take the bucket and dump balls all over and then have your player grab go grab the balls and try to hit different spots as he's moving his feet now the next baseball drill is going to be long toss and this is just going to be short distance long toss obviously uh you know i don't have a lot of room this way i've got a whole field this way but if you're stuck in a batting cage or in a garage or whatever you don't have that much room right you can throw long toss long toss in a, in a short distance. All you gotta do is increase your intensity, right? I can throw the same intensity 15 feet away, 20 feet away, as I do 300 feet away. It's all about how much I put into the throws, right? So the distance does not matter. It's about how much intensity you put in. 